All right, here's a little quick tip for you. Uh, this is something that actually is probably as much of a tip and a reminder to myself as it is to any of you who are the younger or newer, less experienced folks who are just starting out and you're working in bars and small clubs and you're trying to advance your career in live sound. But even after, well, let me think, uh, what is it, uh, coming on 14? 14 years now that I've been doing live sound. I started at 35. Yeah, so 14 years I've been doing live sound and this is a mistake that I will still sometimes make and I will drive myself crazy for several minutes trying to troubleshoot the problem. If everything was good during sound check and uh, or if let's say you're on a digital board that you share with other people and people weren't supposed to overwrite your settings but perhaps they, maybe they were using your template and they did or something like that. Um, but if you ever find yourself stuck in a situation where for some strange reason inputs are just not working and you're looking at the board and you're like, I can see that the mic is working, I can see that level coming in is fine, I can see that uh, the mains are unmuted and the monitors are unmuted and for some reason nothing's coming out of that mic or those few mics, don't forget to check your VCA assignments or on a digital board DCAs because they're not, I guess, Technically, they're digitally controlled amplifiers and not voltage controlled amplifiers. But if you're still in the analog domain, like we are here at Bottom of the Hill, and maybe if I was like sharing channels with somebody for some reason, like maybe having to share drum channels on a really crowded night where there, where all of the inputs are maxed out on the board, um, you know, maybe they ended up assigning um, uh, VCAs to those, and I didn't realize it after the sound checks. And then I went to start the show, and all of a sudden those things are not responding because the VCA is turned down. So that is something that can definitely mess you up, and it can also drive you sort of bananas looking around and seeing signal coming in and thinking that everything's where it's supposed to be and everything should be happening, and having that moment of panic where you like run to the stage because you're thinking that like speakers are blown or that the processor has gone out or some kind of thing is preventing sound from getting through the speakers when in fact uh, basically the, uh, the VCA or the DCA is muted or turned down. So keep that in mind and also funky little side note too, for those of you uh, who are not as familiar with most Yamaha boards, most Yamaha boards have a bright orange or yellow on light for activating the channel and turning it on in the exact same place above the faders at the bottom of each channel strip where everybody else puts a brightly colored mute light. I once made a mistake of mixing a band at a huge festival. It was at Bonnaroo in Tennessee, I think, and my band went out on the stage and they were just about ready to start and I looked down, I glanced down at the board, I saw all this row of these bright orange lights and I thought, oh, I better turn off the mutes and I, I ran my finger down the board and I actually turned all the channels off. The band started playing, I looked around and said, there's nothing coming out of the PA, what the hell's going on? And the system tech looked down and goes, hey, who did that? And he goes, and like turns all the channels back on. Super embarrassing, but even to this day, I still see it messing up people on our analog Yamaha console all the time. I constantly have to remind uh, guest engineers uh, that there are on lights where they intuitively would just out of the corner of their eye think that it's a mute, mute light and it's not. So anyhow, hope that's helpful. Don't forget, always check your DCAs before you go crazy running around looking for blown amplifiers or blown speakers. I'm still guilty of doing that sometimes and I will panic. Don't panic. That's not good in live sound. Okay, talk to y'all later. Bye.